Did you know you can use Tracking Scratch on the DDJ Rev 1 for more than just learning how to scratch? Hey everyone, I'm Priyan Joni from Pioneer DJ, and today I'm going to show you a creative way of using the DDJ Rev 1's Tracking Scratch Pad Mode to create unique sounds combining it with Serato effects. The DDJ Rev 1 was introduced with a brand new pad mode called Tracking Scratch. It works with both Serato DJ Lite and Serato DJ Pro if you have the Serato DJ Pro license. The mode works by allowing you to emulate six different crossfader cut patterns selected on the performance pads while using your own movement on the jog wheel. It's really great for learning how to scratch and mimicking the sounds of the patterns. However, tracking scratch isn't just for teaching you cut patterns. With your crossfader hand free, you can use it creatively for triggering or controlling other functions on the controller, like the Serato effects. Let's show you how easy this is to set up. Step one, load a scratch sample track on the deck of your scratching hand. I scratched with my right, so I loaded it on the right deck. Step two, if you don't have a hotkey already set, go ahead and set a hotkey on one of the samples while in hotkey pad mode. Step three, Let's load a fast breakbeat track on the opposite deck. You can use any track at any tempo, but we're gonna have some fun with this one and use a track that we can speed up to 128 BPM. Step four, set a four or eight bar loop on the instrumental breakbeat track. Keep it queued up with the channel volume up, but without the track playing. Step five, on the deck with the scratch sample, go ahead and select the tracking scratch pad mode. Step six, select the chirp scratch pattern. It's the third pad that is lit. Once engaged, it should start blinking. Keep in mind, Tracking Scratch will always quantize to the tempo of the playing track. In this case, it will be our breakbeat track at 128 BPM. Step seven, open Serato DJ Lite's effects panel and select flanger and reverb for the first and second effects slot for channel two. Set the beat duration to two beats. Step eight, toggle the first effects slot on channel two and set the level def knob to max. Now let's try this out. Go ahead and play the breakbeat track and start scratching the track on beat. The faster you scratch, the faster it will go. You can use your other hand to do momentary toggling of the flanger effects by pulling down on the effects lever. When you're ready to end the session, select the second effect slot where the reverb is set to. Bring down the level def knob to about 12 o'clock and push the lever effects forward. You can do this with different effects or even combine more than one effect to create a unique sound with your tracking scratch. Try out the DDJ Rev 1 and don't be afraid to experiment with different tempos and different tracking scratch patterns. Find a sound that works for you. Want to learn about any other tricks or techniques? Let us know in the comment section below. If you want to find out more about the DDJ Rev 1 scratch style DJ controller for Serato DJ Lite, or see more products from Pioneer DJ, be sure to visit our website at pioneerdj.com or catch us on our social media channels at Pioneer DJ USA. Thanks for watching.